good afternoon class yes i know some of you are now are tired you want to rest but you have nothing to do we have to learn okay but since you're tired let us begin our lesson with a warm-up activity and we are going to say apart then together apart together apart together uh-huh all of you we say apart together apart together one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eh? where is the who is that one who has remained standing yeah you are the night dancer. I've seen you. You are the night dancer. But thank you very much. I think now everybody is ready for the lesson. Now today, we are looking at, previously we looked at food crops. We defined the food crops. We saw examples of food crops and uses of food crops. And some of the uses of food crops we saw, we said they are eaten. They are eaten. For example, we eat mangoes. In fact, we eat all the food crops. All the food crops are eaten. They, are, they also provide herbal medicine. Some food crops provide herbal medicine. We can also export them for income. We can also ex export them for income. Now, having looked at what we learned yesterday, today let us look at cash crops. Today we are looking at cash crops. Cash crops. Today we are looking at cash crops. And we want to know what are cash crops. Cash crops are crops grown mainly for income of sale. Cash crops are crops grown mainly for income or sale. These crops are majorly grown and af after they grow, we harvest them and we take them for sale. We take them for sale to get money. So we've said cash crops. Crops grown mainly mainly for income or what cash crops mean. Cash crops are crops grown mainly for income or sale. Now we want to look at examples of cash crops. Examples of cash crops. Examples of cash crops. Examples of cash crops we have cotton we've got coffee 
Next we have vanilla. We also have saiso. We have wheat. And many others. In fact, these days also sugar cane is a cash crop. Sugar cane. We have sugar cane. It is also what? A cash crop. Yeah. We also have tea as a cash crop. We have tea as a cash crop. And having looked at the examples of cash crops, as we go on in our lessons, we shall have to observe the busy examples of cash crops. And we get to know how they look like. Okay? Now, we, go, we continue by looking at the uses of cash crops. Uses We continue by looking at the uses of cash Uses of cash crops. Cash crops have got different uses. Or they have got they have got importance to us. And some of them are they are used for income. They are used for income. used for income. How? We sell them and we get money. We sell them to to the to the outside countries to all oh, to the people who want them and we get money. Another use of cash crops is that they provide raw materials. They provide us with raw, raw materials. Which are these raw materials? These are the things we use, the things we use. So the cash crops provide us with raw, with raw materials. Raw materials like the clothes, like the threads, like the sacks, cigarettes, as we shall come to know the uses of each of the, ca of the cash crop. Okay? So, cash crops provide us with raw materials. provide us with raw materials. Next is that they provide jobs to the people around. They provide they provide jobs to the people around. They provide jobs to the people around. How? Now take for example
example, we've got a very big chamber of sugar canes here. People around here can go and work in that chamber. And weed the what? The sugar canes. And even looking after the what? The chamber. At the end, those people are paid. They are paid for that. Okay? So, pe those people around those places where cash crops are grown have a chance of getting jobs. Now, having looked at the uses of cash crops, let us continue to look at the products we get from each of the cash crops we have named above. Products we get from each of the cash crops named are bad. We are going to draw the table and we divide it into two. This side we are going to have the cash crop. This side we are having the cash crop. This side we are having the products. Okay? This side is showing us the cash flow. And this one is showing us the products. Now we are going to begin with cotton. Cotton. Which products do we get from cotton? The products we get from cotton are threads, we also get clothes, those clothes we wear, like now this one I'm putting on. Okay, the clothes you're putting on, all of you there, are got from cotton. We also get threads from cotton. Those threads we use to mend our clothes. Do you know them? They are very common. I think you know them. And they are those ones we use to make tablecloths and so many others. Next we have Saiso. Saiso. What do we get from Saiso? From Saiso we get from Saiso we get sacks. Very good. Get sacks. Do you know sacks? Those, those birds where are yeah, we pack things. Yeah? Like if you you grow beans, those bags where you yeah, you pack the beans are what we call sacks. The bags we use to to keep guinness, they are what we call sacks. Then from sacks again we get carpets. So we get carpets. We continue 
to look at another cash crop, which is tobacco. Which is what? Tobacco. From tobacco, we get cigarettes. Have you ever seen cigarettes? Yes, if you've ever seen them. For those who have never seen them, I can explain to you. The cigarettes are those ones, are those things people smoke. Yeah? They put them in their mouth and they begin to smoke. Have you ever seen them? When they smoke them, they bring a lot of yeah, smoke. So those are what we call cigarettes. They are what we call cigarettes. So from tobacco, we get cigarettes. All of you repeat, cigarettes. Again, cigarettes. So from, from tobacco, we get cigarettes. Is this the correct spelling of cigarettes? No, it's not. This is supposed to be A, cigarettes. So, from tobacco, we get cigarettes, which people smoke. Then, we continue with sugar canes. Sugar. From sugar canes, we get, this is automatic, from, from sugar canes, we get what? Sugar. Get sugar. Yes, that is that is sugar we all like to take. If at school you are given porridge without without what? Without sugar, you say, ah, ah, this this porridge is not tasty. Why? Because there is no what? Or because the sugar is maybe little. So. From sugar cane, we get sugar. We also look at wheat. Wheat as a cash crop. Wheat, wheat as a cash crop provides us with wheat flour. Or from wheat, we get wheat flour. Have you ever seen wheat flour? Wheat. Wheat flour. Which you use to, yeah? Which you mingle and after you eat. And that food we get from wheat is known as, is it kalo? Yes. And some of you are very much interested in it. Okay? Then we have oil palm. We have oil palm. Oil palm. From oil palm, we get oil. I mean, we get cooking oil. From oil palm, we get cooking oil. The cook, I think everybody knows what cooking oil is. Is that oil we use to fry pancakes, to fry our sauce at home, even at school. Here we always at school, they fry for us beans and they taste nicely. Okay? So, oil is got from oil pan. Then another one is tea. We have tea. From tea we get tea leaves. We get tea leaves. We get tea leaves which we add on our on our tea, black tea. 
Okay? So now, having looked at all this, we want to go through our work. Okay? I want all of you to pay attention as we go through the work. And we are going to read together. Okay? Cash crops. Cash crops are crops grown mainly for income or sale. Examples of cash crops. Cotton, coffee, vanilla, sisal, wheat, sugarcane, and tea. Uses of cash crops. They are used for income. They provide us with raw materials. They provide jobs to the people around. Now we are looking at products we get from each of the cash crop named above. This side we have the cash crop and this way we are having the product. Okay? With products we can we can term them also as raw materials. Okay? Here we are having cotton. From cotton we get threads and products. Then we have siso. From siso we get sacks and carpets. We have tobacco. From tobacco we get cigarettes. We also have sugar canes. And from sugar canes, we get sugar. Wheat, we get wheat flour. Palm oil, we get cooking oil. And lastly, tea, where we get tea leaves. I thank you for having attended the lesson and for being good girls. Thank you so much. Now we shall have the activity after my teaching. I wish you a good day. Thank you.